A supine rough back is one of the fundamental breathing exercises we can do for driving some posterior expansion on the backside of the body. Oftentimes postpartum, we're in more of that extended position. So even being able to flex the opposite direction through the spine is very challenging. We need some expansion in this part of the body so that we can actually get that movement that we need. And if you found that it's really difficult to connect with those lower abdominals, sometimes this also relates to our pelvic position and being in that more extended posture. Those abdominals are on a lengthened position and we need to drive some of that posterior expansion so we're then able to better connect with the front and hold tension and generate force through the midline here. If we're constantly tight back here and dumped forward, all the air and pressure is flowing forward all the time and that makes it more difficult to connect here and expand here. So we want to find a good position, breathe into this back side and then allow us to connect with the front side of our core. So in a rock back position, if you find that it's difficult and it's too difficult to get out of this position or you don't have the ability to even sit on the heels, you can use a yoga mat or a foam pad or something to just bring the feet closer to the body. And in this position, I'm going to round through. If you round here and feel like you're more like this, I want you to even think about rounding and see I'm kind of pushing my back towards the sky. I can think about pushing through the ground with my forearms in this position. So instead of being here, I'm here. Now, adding props to make yourself comfortable because we want to be able to breathe here with ease and not feel a lot of tension in the body. So I can use a yoga block, something to elevate my head so my neck can calm down, whatever feels comfortable to you. So once again, we're not here, thinking about pushing through the ground, so I'm here. And I'm thinking about almost rounding through my spine. You may feel like maybe you're arching too much, but if you're here, I want you to think about those ribs back and almost taking a little bit of a roundedness to your spine, but without crunching down. So this is challenging, but we're just gonna hang here in this rock back position. And this is where we take our breaths. You don't need the, the rolled up yoga mat or what, whatever you grab, you don't need to use it. And then you can just put it to the side and this is where we're going to breathe. Inhales through the nose. Exhales out the mouth. You can even take it one step further. You can take that same yoga mat or a rolled up towel or even a Pilates ball can be really helpful. If you have one of those, you can do on one side at a time or place it in the middle and we're gonna kind of essentially block off the front so we can get more air into the back. Probably start with like a towel, something soft. I sometimes like going one at a time. That is your rock back position, a fundamental breathing exercise. Being able to expand into the back is gonna be then allow you to connect with the abdominals in the front and it's gonna help you find that kind of ability to flex through the spine and get into your squat if you can get expansion through this lower part of the back and pelvis.